let's practice writing some variable expressions. In this first example, you decide to purchase several $25 gift cards for your family during the holiday season. Write a variable expression to express the amount of money you will spend on holiday gift cards. So currently we're not exactly sure how many gift cards you will purchase, so we'll go ahead and assign the variable g to equal the number of gift cards purchased. So if each gift card costs twenty-five dollars, the total amount of money spent on the gift cards would be twenty-five dollars times g. Now we should be aware that some textbooks assume we know this amount would already be in dollars, so they may express it just as twenty-five times g or twenty-five g. In this example, the local community college charges sixty-eight dollars per credit hour. There are additional course fees of one hundred twenty-four dollars per student per semester. Write a variable expression for the cost of taking courses at the college for a semester. Again, the unknown is how many credit hours someone will enroll in. So let's let C equal the number of credit hours a student will take. So for every credit hour it will cost sixty-eight dollars. So the variable expression for the total cost for the semester would be sixty-eight dollars times the number of credit hours plus one hundred twenty-four dollars. And again, I would prefer to have the units of dollars in my expression, but a lot of times most textbooks just write sixty-eight C plus one hundred twenty-four, assuming we know this amount would be in dollars. For this last example, your boss asks you to price out tables and chairs for a classroom. Tables cost thirty-six dollars each, and the chairs cost twelve dollars each. We have a variable expression for the total cost spent on tables and chairs for the room. So in this problem we have two unknowns. We don't know how many tables or how many chairs will be purchased. So let's let T equal the number of tables. And we'll let C equal the number of chairs purchased. So every table costs thirty-six dollars. So thirty-six dollars times T would be the total cost for the tables, plus each chair costs twelve dollars, that would be twelve dollars times C. Again, notice how I did include the units of dollars in the expression. If we wanted to leave the units out, it would just be thirty-six T plus twelve C. Again, given that we assume the units would be in dollars.